Ansarat Wali once represented Afghanistan on the international stage in Taekwondo, winning medals across the world. Then the Taliban took control of Afghanistan and Ansarat was told she could no longer compete. There are a lot of changes. We cannot do most of the things like exercise, education, work and more. We are just sitting home and it's a huge change in my life. Now she trains behind closed doors. Since the Taliban have taken power, Afghan women have seen some of their rights rolled back. Some have lost jobs, some have seen new restrictions on travel, and others have been lectured on what they can and can't wear in public by the Taliban. This was once the Ministry for Women, its corridors buzzed with female employees. Then the Taliban took over and suspended the women's ministry, replacing it with the Ministry of Vice and Virtue. The women have been told not to come to work. The Taliban say that the new restrictions offer women safety, such as the new rule that women should be accompanied on trips abroad by a male relative. If a woman travels without being accompanied by her brother, father or husband, that means her life is at risk in that environment. So because of the risk associated with the travel and stay, it was said that women can't travel alone. Outside, the ministry murals that once proclaimed women's rights have been painted over. A poster urges women to wear the burqa. Some women have welcomed the Taliban's new edicts. Suzanne Ahmadi is a teacher of Dari and says her religious beliefs mean that women should wear the burqa and be segregated from men. Allah ordered women to do hijab and now that the Taliban took over, I am very happy because there is greater respect given to women now and limitations have been set for them. They are asked women not to come to their jobs because their workplaces still need to be cleaned up. At the moment, most women can still work. However, they worry that more restrictions may be coming in the future. I want them to give us back our flag and our freedom. I am not doing anything wrong. I only want to progress, and they shouldn't hold me back from my progress. Anzorat says she will keep fighting for her rights to practice her sport. Toby Muse reporting for CGTN, Kabul.